a milestone. Each week at this time, we honor American service members killed in action. But this week, the Pentagon did not release any names of U.S. service members killed in Afghanistan or Iraq. That's the first time that's happened since July 2011. Overnight, however, there was a tragic reminder that the horrors of war echo far beyond the battlefield. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, whose best-selling book, American Sniper, details four tours in Iraq as the most lethal sniper in U.S. military history, was killed yesterday at a gun range in Texas. The shooter, believed to be a former Marine whom Kyle was counseling through a struggle with PTSD. In Iraq, Kyle was awarded two silver stars and five bronze stars for bravery. We honor his service. And that is all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.